Konnichi Mamina. This is Tisa Curry, and you're watching Pokecast. <clears throat> Pardon me, sorry. Um, this will be my uh, fifth and final video on uh, the vampire themes that I'm doing for this week. And this one is going to be Knight's Children, Volume 1. It's just for mature readers, and there's, you know, there is new D in there, uh, and some, you know, some just the themes, but, you know, the vampire one. Um, the best way to explain this one would be, like, it had a really striking similar, you know, similarity to, uh, The Lost Boys. Uh, that is kind of how it felt like when I was reading it, so I was really pleased to see that since that is a very good vampire movie. Um, doesn't go down exactly like that. Of course, this is the first one, so I don't know if they actually continue to expand on going towards it being like Lost Boys or not. But, you know, the classic, uh, well, it's, you know, the, it starts off, you got two uh, dumb teenagers still in a purse, and they finally get their drugs, start taking their drugs, and because of that, one boy dies, the other one just passes out, and two vampires happen to pass by the boy, and are like, you know, girls all... Well, this one's dead. This one's almost dead. Should, uh... Well, he's actually kind of cute. Should we save him? And, of course, you know, the, the guy's like, no, we can't drink his blood because it's poisoned. You know, even vampires need real blood. Not, um, <laughs> drug-induced or alcoholic blood because, well, even to a vampire, apparently, they don't taste good. It's spoiled. You know, it's, um, definitely, like, that's what I'm saying, it has that Lost Boy effect because, you know, like, if you remember Lost Boy's Hell, you know, he drinks the so-called wine and eventually comes and turns into a vampire. This is kind of how it felt like because, you know, he wakes up, so here, this is for you, drinks it, it's raining again, woohoo! Sorry, Arizona, we're excited when it rains. Um, and, you know, he's like, wow, this tastes like blood. It's like, well, it's my blood mixed with wine. I hope you enjoy it. And then, because of that, he does turn into a vampire without having to be bit. So, that's what I'm saying, where the two ties coming together. And, um, <clears throat> after he's finally turned, you know, they have to, like, well, we got you, this girl. She's been real play paid. You know, have at it. Your first, your first uh, bite, and it just keeps on building on it. Really, you know, we get to see just how uh, the, you know, these these two vampires, you know, help bring this new vampire into the world, helping the boy. You know, instead of wasting your life away, why not, um, why not enjoy your life? Instead of being addicted to drugs, now you're addicted to blood, and, you know, go from there. We get to see how, um, he has to, you know, learn how to hunt properly for, you know, the, basically the, the two main vampires are trying to teach him, you do not have to kill humans. Each self a, a prostitute that is clean. Drink her, you know, pay her, drink her blood, and as far as she knows, when she wakes up, she has a really bad hickey, and she has twice as much money as she made. So, you know, it um, really just helps build the story. We get to meet some other vampires in there, and we start seeing the class, you know, develop, and. When it comes down to it, uh, it wasn't particularly one of my favorite comics, to be honest. It did have some good reading because, you know, if, like I said, if you are a fan of Lost Boys, it did have that feel in there. Uh, yeah, I, I, it's one of those that, honestly, I will not be continuing this series. But for all of you out there who are looking for a more of a mature uh, vampire comic this is probably for you especially with that atmosphere in there uh it, you know 
it did have a nice story going and showing you know, development of a uh, a new uh, apprentice vampire getting into the world of vampires, learning about the rules and everything. So that was, you know, I thought was really nice about it. Um, not for kids because, you know, there's, there is uh, definitely nudity in there. And, but it is a classic vampire storyline. So, for all you out there who are looking for, you know, at least the m more mature aspect of vampires, this is probably a good one for you. For me, nah. It just, it did it, it just, it, it wasn't for me, but that's where I'm just torn between it. I have, you know, in all honesty, you know, give this one a read. It might be for you. For me, it wasn't, but I am pleased that they really follow the, uh, the, you know, the culture of what vampires, the lore that we've come to know and love about the vampires that Twilight destroyed. And... <laughs> Great, there's going to be some bad comments right there. Um, but um, it re I really enjoyed that. And I liked it. The, the one thing I really liked about the new character, the, the whole the young vampire, is that, you know, the whole time he's just like, you know, his mind's blown away by the world. You know, he watches the girl and he's like, well, so when, how old are you? Oh, I was born in 1845. And, wait, you don't believe me? Do I have a choice on that? You know, it's just, woo, the whole time on how, you know, he's, like I said, he's uh, just getting into everything. He's learning, and he has to, you know, understand you're part of this world now. There are rules you need to follow if you don't want to be caught, and if you just want to be able to have an eternal life, enjoy it. So that was one thing I was very pleased because, you know, it's a vampire teaching a new vampire the lore that, you know, he only thought was a myth the whole time. So that was something I was very pleased with the story. The writer understood that if you're going to make a story about a, about a human becoming a vampire from a rotten life, this is definitely one of those stories that helps that, you know, come across. So I was pleased about that. So this has been my review on Night's Children, Volume 1. For all of you out there who are looking for something new, definitely check this one out. It might be what exactly you're looking for. Otherwise, you know, for me, not my favorite, like I said, but definitely one of the better vampire true lore ones I have. So at least I was happy with that. So this is T. Curtis saying ciao and sayonara. See you guys next week.